Good morning and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate your support. So make sure when you come, you bring a pen and a piece of paper and write down the songs that come up for us because the lyrics are very important to the message. The songs that came through this morning were Lay Me Down by Morgan Wade. Carry Me Home by Morgan Wade, Someone by Aaron Smith, When Tomorrow Starts Without Me by Trey Penley, Giving You Up by Cameron Marlowe, Before You Called Me Baby by Caitlin Smith, and Call Me by Shine Down, and Let Her Cry by Hootie and the Blowfish. So... Make sure you look up the lyrics to those words. They're good songs anyway, so you'll enjoy listening to them. <coughs> and you can use your lyric button if you listen to them on YouTube. Alright, let's get started with a prayer. Holy Spirit, may I have a prayer, please, for the collective for daily reading for spiritual growth. Lord, make me an instrument of thy peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. Amen. I think I might have said that a little wrong, but you get the message. All right, what virtue are we working on in the collective this morning when it comes to our spiritual growth? Content, man. You're helping us to learn to be content. In whatever circumstances we find ourselves in. And you're also helping us to have integrity, beautiful, and peace. So some of us are tempted to not have integrity. And I think it's because we're not content with the situations that we're in. So we are tempted to do something outside of our true beliefs. Our true beliefs in what's right and wrong to not have integrity, but I don't know, we'll see. What would our best friend say to us? You've never, you never, you need to hear this. I can't see worth a shit anymore. <laughs> what would our best friend say? What do I, what is our best friend say that we need to hear? Don't forget to be kind and lean into it. Don't forget to be kind and lean into it. So if someone you need to be kind to, and they say lean into it, like maybe this is somebody you're trying to get with, you want this person to, to pay you attention and you have to lean into it. Or maybe you have to lean into working however hard you have to work to make your dreams come true. Let's find out what energy Oracle would say to us. Oracle, what would you say to the collective? Intuition challenge, a clock. What does a clock mean to you and how do you connect with this image? A clock to me is about time. It's about the correct time. It's about divine time. It's about the, the exact time that something is meant to happen. But you decide for you. Clock can stand for many things. There's a reason why Spirit's asking you to connect your intuition to a clock. Because somehow there's timing involved in your situation. <clears throat> And you can't make it happen any faster or any slower. It's going to happen when it's meant to happen. I'm hearing you use the blue deck. Hmm. Okay. 
Okay. Not my CDs. We shall see. Is this right here? This is a blue deck of tarot. It's not all major. And I don't know them all that well. We have the seven of something. Stand your ground. And mental conflict. So that must be this blue is swords and I think purple is seven of wands. The two of wands, the two of swords, I mean, the two of swords and the seven of wands. Stand your ground. You have a little conflict. You're mentally conflicted about whether or not you should stand your ground. The waiting game and mental conflict. Remember timing? You're having to wait. You're having to wait the two of wands. You don't know which way to go, and so you're having to wait until you figure that out. <coughs> the third eye and mental conflict. So use your intuition to help you with this mental conflict that you're having. I don't know what you're saying when you're conflict today, but it's definitely driving you crazy. Alright, what would you say to the collective this morning, Spirit? Partnership and Alliance. Number one. And the Heart Chakra. You need to make a you need to make a partnership and alliance when it comes to the heart chakra, and then we have shadow. I think that might be the moon card, but we're gonna find out. Partnership and alliance. Let's see what that is. Number three of. It looks like. Three of one or three of pentacles. Partnership and alliance. The meaning of this card denotes that you're now starting to see the fruits of your labor take seed and blossom. There may be still a lot to do, but watch out for synchronicities, which could bring opportunities to form connections or unexpected alliances that may create something new. You can <coughs> These could assist you in gathering resources for future projects. With all partnerships, always, with all partnerships, always remember what there has to be, when there, sorry, remember that there has to be an even, an even exchange or energy. If you give too much, Whereas your partner gives too little, it will leave you feeling energetically drained and cause potential disharmony in the union. There must be overall balance within the alliance in order for it to work and blend together for optimal results. This card reminds you to that success comes in many forms, even from the most unlikely sources. Have an open mind when listening to others. So you're going to have partnerships. And you're about to have abundance. And you're going to have a partnership and alliance with someone you're not expecting. These cards are the wands, spirit. So it's an ace of wands. 
You're gonna have an ace of wands with someone you don't expect. This could be about love, too. Because the heart chakra's here. I think the chakras are on the back. Yep. <clears throat> the key word, heart chakra. It's the color green. It's the sound yum. Yum. The element is air. It's the thymus gland, and the key word is I love. Parallel to the heart, this chakra represents unconditional love, compassion, harmony, relationships, and healing. It's believed to be linked between your mind, body, and soul. Balancing this area may take a while, but you should allow all the time that you need to, for the healing energy to get through and flow freely by loving yourself and others as well as learning forgiveness you'll become more attuned with spirit and I remember when I was in that bedroom over there one night and I was crying and I was bawling my eyes out and I was sitting on the floor holding my knees rocking back and forth and it felt like something pulled a wire out of my heart. I felt it when it came out. It scared me. I literally almost called 911. It scared me so bad. And once it came out, it was like I was free. It was like I could float. It was like I was superhuman almost. It was amazing. So the heart, it can be a bit scary, especially if your heart is that tangled in vines. Your heart can be so tangled in spiritual vines like hatred, um, envy, discord, unforgiveness, unlovingness, just pure hatred. And you want it to have love. So there's an alliance that you don't really feel like you might, you might not feel attracted to this person at first. But this is saying that you're going to be having an ace of wands with someone you love. Once your heart chakra opens, you will. Now I'm being told to take a look at these. These are animal spirit cards. And I want to find out how person A feels. How does the collective feel about this person that they are becoming alive with? How do they feel about them? You're connected by your heart chakra, I can tell you that. Cards turn over. The lion. The lion is here. I'm going to leave it there. The collective is connected to this person by the lion. All right, how are they connected to us? One at a time, please, so the reader can read and interpret the card. How are they connected to us? The dolphin and the butterfly. That's beautiful. Alright, let's see what that means. The lion. It's hard to find things in this book. Bear with me. The lion. There's a tiger. Lions and tigers and bears. Oh my. I would have thought it 
it would have been more evolved, but apparently not. Yeah, it is. The first ones are less evolved. The ones towards the back of the section are more evolved. Lions are very evolved. They're very courageous. They're very protective. Help me, Spirit. Help me, Spirit. Is the lion. Patient, regal, a complete master. The lion is a master of the fire element and the living mascot of self transformation. The lion's personality dictates their life to personal and spiritual growth. I'm sorry. The lion person. The lion personality dedicates their life to personal and spiritual growth. They dedicate that this dedication inspires some and intimidates others. Therefore, the lion is respected by all, but known intimately by few. <clears throat> some mistake the lion as hard to access or aloof, yet those with a keener eye know better. Lions are observant, stealth, and, pre and precise in their words and actions. They do not waste energy or resources. The card reminds us that the self-mastery is available to all of us to master no matter what where our quest begins when this is upright the epitome of peace and strength so collective you're the epitome of peace and strength okay and now the dolphin so you may be a little um intimidating to some people because of your you're dedicated to your spiritual and physical growth you're dedicated spiritually spiritually and emotionally all right dolphin where is you dolphins are very very intelligent creatures they can even talk their own language. I wish this book was laid out better. You have to go through every page to find what you're looking for. They're very evolved. Here they are. Dolphin. Intimate intellect healer and light. <coughs> healer, light, and blessings. The gift of the dolphin are beyond what our human minds can grasp. Dolphin personalities are often drawn to the healing arts as they are sensitive to the subtle and enjoy working at, at the level of spirit. It's easy for dolphin types to understand the impact they make in the world. These creatures play such an important role in the wheel of karma that coming in contact with a dolphin type will change the entire course of your day and thus your life. This card can also indicate a profound blessing is on the way so this person just by being in their presence they can change your life because they're connected to the karmic wheel and then butterfly which is an air element i think this person is very <clears throat> let's see understanding great change and transformation the energy of the butterfly is with us during periods of transformation since air is the element of the heart 
This change usually involves relationships or if you love your job, perhaps your career, since transformation is, is accompanied by some amount of discomfort. Be extra patient and kind during this time, especially if the butterfly is you. Let solid friends and activities support you like a cocoon, committing to one daily daily routine, a meal, practice, or prayer. The done at the same place and time will do wonders for lifting a butterfly spirit. So they need routine because they're going through transformation. Your person is very powerful and they can change your life and your day because they're connected karmically to the wheel. They're very intelligent. They're very delicate. They're going through a transformation and they need to have routine. They need things to be in order. They need things to be tidy and neat and they need everything to be done the same. You need to be gentle with them. If it's you, you need to be gentle with yourself. And yes, this is a very special relationship. These are two very powerful people. And I've been instructed not to worry about the bottom of the deck. That's for later. In case you were wondering what the earthworm in reverse. <coughs> All right, now let's pull some of our energy oracles just to see what comes out. Energy oracle, what's going on with these two people? Indecision and cornucopia. So somebody can't decide whether or not they want a, corn a cornucopia. A cornucopia is, it can be blessings financially, material blessings, Blessings in love, blessings of every type. There are no blessings that the cornucopia doesn't cover. It covers them all. That's what a cornucopia is. The man holding the heart and the cornucopia. This man loves you and wants to have it all with you. That's what I see. This is a beautiful reading. The magician in the mirror and the man holding the heart. So not only that, but this person is a manifestor and they may also be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Because this is about fire, water, and air. Somebody has a water element. Dolphins are actually show, showing up as land animals. The temple path and the magician in the mirror. So you're, you're being led to the temple for some reason. Alright, let's find out what Spirit wants to say to the collective about this relationship. Be patient, Spirit says. I just want you to be patient. Let me work on this. This person's going through some huge transformation. And they don't need stress. Ooh. And Archangel Metatron is working on your third eye chakra. I don't have to read these. I know what they mean. It means you need to be patient. And your intuition is going to show you everything you need to know. Oh, we forgot to read Shadow. Let's read what Shadow means. I think Shadow is the moon card. Number 18. It's a black card, which means it's a major arcana. They do have some that aren't in the regular tarot, though, so I don't know. Alright, number 18, Shadow. This card represents emotion, sensitivity, and a reminder that nothing in life is, as it's, is at a standstill. This is a world of constant flux, and one thing is certain, every, everything changes. 
This card is calling you to action. The time is now when you may have to face your worst fears and look into the dark shadow of your soul. You must learn to conduct I'm sorry. You must learn to confront what you've avoided and walk contagiously and walk courageously through it. Always know that life naturally revitalizes itself and as it does, so do you. The shadow card promises that there's light at the end of the tunnel. Recognize that light at the end of the tunnel. Recognize by no longer denying your part and letting the, the tears fall. You'll discover the diamonds in the treasure chest of your soul. This is a cleansing process to wash away and clear out what was once avoided, ignored, or pushed aside. This card indicates that this is a time when your psychic sensitivity may be quite intense. Learn to open up to it, if need be, to turn it down. Your body is one big psychic antenna, so just remember that you're in control of how high or how low you want the reception to be. Mother Earth can assist you in this period of change, sensitivity, and healing. Traditional tarot card is the moon. So yeah, you've been going through a dark time, hence the song, When Tomorrow Starts Without Me. Because I've been through a, a dark night of the soul. And tomorrow I had to start without someone that I love. And it was very difficult to get through. But Spirit has helped me in so many ways to get through it. Now I do see that we have a love reading here. And I'm not really sure. You're going to have a partnership with somebody. You have to be patient with them. They're going through a transformation. Alright, let's see what's going to happen here. Let's see how they feel about you. Let's see how this person feels about you. How does this person feel about the collective spirit? Remember, you're the lion. They're the ones going through the transformation. They feel like they are hiding and in despair. Yeah, they don't want to about moon energy, it looks like. They must be the ones going through the dark side of the moon. They feel frozen and like they're hiding something. Bless the hearts. The card turned over. They're hiding something and it's guess who? Divine Masculine with intimacy and hiding. <clears throat> Divine Masculine is hiding their intimacy. They're acting cold. They're acting detached. They're acting a little bit off. Oh, they're just not, they're not playful. You have to be careful with a person when they're going through a transformation. Especially when they're a butterfly. If you have a butterfly laying on your hand, you can you can let it sit there and look at it. But if you try to hold it too tightly, you're going to kill it. So you have to be real careful how you deal with this divine masculine. Somebody is putting in their whole heart, their innocence, and their support. But somebody is hiding. So stop trying to do this needs to be balanced this relationship it's time for it to be balanced don't do anything else for this person until they do something for you do you understand me don't give them money don't do anything else for them 
until they do something for you. They have to do things for you as well. Somebody has a resentment because they've been hiding. They resent the fact that they have to hide this relationship. But they don't have to hide it. All right, Spirit, talk to me about how divine, ha, ha, talk to me about how the collective feels. How does, how does this person feel about the collective? I'm going to read them all in the upright. They feel trapped. Better off having a new beginning. They feel trapped and better off having a new beginning. Hold on one second, please. I'm so sorry if you could hear my alarm in the background. I couldn't hear it very well, but I finally figured out what it was. All right, so the way this person feels about the collective is that somebody is trapped, but they're better off because it was the beginning. It, 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 they feel like you were, you were trapped, but that you were better off in the beginning. How does the collective feel about them? There's a resentment. They feel like either you have a resentment or they do. Why do they feel like there's a resentment? Might have a good reason for it. Because you were hoping. I think you were hoping for this new beginning, but you were trapped. And they're saying, listen, you were better off being trapped in this new beginning. I understand you resent it because you were hoping for it. But the truth is, is it wasn't time. Why didn't it happen, Spirit? Why didn't the situation come together when it was supposed to in the beginning that they have this resentment against it? Why didn't it come together whenever it was um, able to? Because of too much confusion. It would have caused a lot of confusion. So Spirit was sparing you confusion. Or maybe one of you was confused about the relationship. Because on the bottom of the deck I have letting go. Clarify the confusion. We've seen this before. Only you. There was confusion. All right, so you thought, or they thought, that you were the only one. But there was somebody else. That's why they had to reject you. They didn't want to reject you. But they were clashing with somebody else. Clarify that only you. Only you is about, please give me a second chance. I'm so exhausted. Remember here, this person needs a routine. This is Divine Masculine going through a transformation. This person would like a second chance because they are so exhausted. Why are they exhausted? Because you've put your whole heart into this. And they're sorry that they had to hurt you this way. They know that this is a deep, deep love. So what's going to happen next? Beauty is here. And shattered. Somebody who's very beautiful is going to get hurt. Why are they going to get hurt? Because of memories of somebody running. Somebody beautiful. What's going to happen next? Is somebody beautiful being shattered? Because this divine masculine probably is going to run 
from these memories. Why are they running from the memories, Spirit? Because they see the reflection of themselves in you. And when they see themselves, they don't like what they see. So they run. Is there anything we can do to stop this? <clears throat> Drifting. What do you mean drifting? I think that means like giving some space. Oh, this is a friendship. Why is the friendship drifting? Because it's clashing. Why is it clashing? Because of deja vu. Anything else we need to know about this? Somebody's having an epiphany about this being a very, very deep spiritual connection. And they no longer use chemicals or get drunk or high or whatever it was they did. Alright, now let's find out why this breakup is happening. How, why is this breakup happening between this friendship? Because if something was unintentional, somebody feels desperate and they feel like they made a mistake. Alright. What, what's being hidden? That they're working. They don't need to lose hope. That it's their choice. No escape. They feel like they have no way out. They're trapped. They're working. Don't lose hope. It's your choice to not escape. Alright. What's, what's being shown? That somebody's escaping through alcohol or drugs. I thought they had quit. Maybe they started back. And they're worried. Why are they worried? Because of gossip about this friendship. I'm so sick of gossip. And then they're fighting it also because of the gossip. And they're doing, making silent moves. What's the gossip about this friendship? Spirit, what are people saying that's a lie about this friendship? That you're riding it out and running away. What's the truth? That you're in a toxic situation. Clarify toxic. Somebody betrayed you. So what? What's what's the truth? Of, what's the rest of the truth of the gossip? Somebody visits the sex shop. They may work at one. Somebody's in their feelings. Somebody is fighting for what they love, claiming what's yours, love the battlefield. And somebody is a hater who made a fake apology. Alright. What's the truth about the gospel? Somebody's very promiscuous. What else is the truth? This is somebody else. There's going to be an announcement. Somebody is sick. And it's a nightmare. Why is it a nightmare? Because the police are involved. And what's going to happen with the police? Oh my goodness. Somebody's falling apart because they have fake friends. And they're under spiritual attack. Wow. Anything else we need to know? They're brainstorming. Coming up with ideas, problem solving, and figuring shit out. And burning evidence. So they have, they've done something. I hate nothing about you. Anything else we need to know here? Align yourself with the universe. 
and ex you should be expecting a new beginning. There's about to be a new beginning because the police are about to get involved in this. What spiritual gifts are operating here? Fancy, please. Time is involved, and so is that mirror, remember? Anything else? Coins, a baby, and a seedling, and protection. Clarify the baby. You have to work with numbers. Your baby could be a project you're working on that involves numbers. Anything else? Align your chakras and your phoenix rising. Alright, show me what kind of healing is needed, please. Let's see. You need courage and you have a hole in your soul with dreams you might be having dreams all right when it comes to their dreams not not sleep dreams but your dream dreams what does they what is it they need to know in your heart you know what is good for you and what makes you excited to be alive day after day you need to trust your dreams and follow your instincts if you don't, you'll only end up making other people's dreams come true. Imagine the life you really want to live. Observe your surroundings through new possibilities. Shape your consciousness to include your dreams. Every time you see the word but, learn something about yourself. The but will reveal your limiting belief. It's like a key to unlock the door to your full, great, full potential. Everything, listen, listen to me. I learned this in a 12-step meeting when I was sharing one time. I had an old timer stop me, and they said, you need to just shut up for a minute. I said, okay. They said, listen to me. Don't ever forget this. Everything after but is bullshit. It's an excuse. Every time you use the word but, you learn something about yourself. Things often don't work out as planned. Let things appear just as they do and be sure to notice how they unfold perfectly. Be curious in your everyday life. React with in interest to everything React with interest to everything new life presents to you. Curiosity will open the mind for your for your new possibilities. Say thank you to others as often as you can. Say thank you to life. Say thank you to yourself. Gratitude allows you to trust life. And trust is the foundation for dream come true. Good advice from the dream cards when it comes to making your dreams come true. Great advice. So far, Divine Masculine is the only one who has shown up. Let's see. Where are you at in all of this, Divine Masculine? You're spying. You're spying, baby. You have regrets. I'm sorry. I am so, so sorry. Where's your divine feminine? Divine timing. What's she up to these days? Oh my God. She's going to take action when it comes to being a victim because of a twin flame. So whatever you regret that made her a victim, she's going to take action. What's going to connect the two once she takes action? Hmm. 
you're going to have a fresh start. But you've been contemplating this. You're, oh my God, this is beautiful. Listen to this. You're going to have forgiveness when it comes to a third party. And you're going to have this fresh start you've been thinking about. Card in the wrong deck alert. Somebody was misunderstood. Talk to me about this fresh start. Somebody was stuck and had a misunderstanding, but now they understand. So you didn't understand this twin flame stuff, but you're starting to understand it now. Anything else that we need to know about these two coming together? It looks like the two of you are coming together rather soon. Yeah, you're at the end of the cycle. What happens at the beginning of the new cycle? Oh, there's a soulmate that you're connected to by money. Alright, what's going to be the outcome of that? You're going to take off your mask because you don't want to be bound anymore. You're going to tell the truth to your soulmate about how you feel about this twin flame. And look, the answer is going to be yes. Oh my God, that's beautiful. All right, let's just see what would come out of here. All right, Spirit. What would you say to Divine Masculine out of here? You need to have integrity. And we've already seen that one time. So remember now, when you see something more than once, it's important. You need to use your intuition. And we see that Metatron is here to help you with that. Anything else? Something that's unavailable and having boundaries. Where something's unavailable, you need to have boundaries. Alright, anything else? You need stability, which you're working on. Anything about the twin flame? You need to trust this twin flame. There needs to be an apology when it comes to finances. Alright, anything else? There's going to be forgiveness. And you need to be vulnerable. Open up. Talk to this person. Have fun. Put away the computer. It's fake. Anything else, Spirit? What else would you say about this? Warning. Why are we having a warning? What's the warning about? It's about something strictly sexual and you need to back away from. You're involved in something strictly sexual. Spirit says retreat. Alright, what else? And that's a warning. You're on different pages when it comes to awakening. So one of you has awakened a little faster than the other. But that's okay. You're, you're catching up beautifully. Anything else? You have new love. What do you mean new love? You need to play hard with this new love. What else? Take care of yourself. It's protected. And you're going to get a second chance. And support. Alright, anything else you want to say, Spirit, one more time. So the Spirit wants to address an addiction. What about the addiction? What about the addiction? What about the addiction? It was a spiritual lesson. Did they learn it? Go slow. There's been interference. Here and now. What's going to be the outcome of the interference that's here right now? Children are interfering. What should divine masculine do, spirit? You know that it's true love. You need to take a leap of faith. It has to do with a marriage. Okay. You have a marriage. And... You have children that are a factor in that marriage. You need to take a, a leap of faith 
towards your true love, which is a friendship. It's a past life love. Anything else? Anything else about any of this? There's an obsession. Somebody has an obsession. I think it's the current partner is obsessed with you being with this twin flame. They're, they're determined you're not going to be. It has to do with chemistry. I can't hardly shuffle them anymore. They're all almost gone. What do you mean chemistry and obsession? There we go. You need to have acceptance. There's going to be rejection. And you're going to have to wait because there's obstacles and you're going to have regret. And it's just this twin flame and this soulmate. It's because you went towards a soulmate who had children by somebody else. These children, I don't think, like you very much. And you need to use your intuition. You need to have integrity. You need to be careful because somebody is um, maybe going to involve the police. And it's somebody who's a fake friend. Alright, I'm going to do one thing and we're going to get out of here. <sighs> Alright, Spirit. What would you say to the divine masculine here? One card, please. One card, please. Thank you so much. Lioness. We've been getting that a lot. And priority of purpose. God is not going to stop until we understand what he's saying to us. Priority of purpose, number 26. Number 26. Your ability to love yourself and be empowered is maturing. You are learning that the real beauty and value of you comes from within. You are learning to rise above emotional game playing with honesty. You can enjoy your attractiveness as a person without allowing it to control your life. I'm sorry, I lost my place. <laughs> without allowing it to control your life. Or your sense of self worth. If others try to control you through their opinion about your appearance or in any other way, you will be strong enough to recognize this as their issue and not yours. It has nothing to do with you. Others will be attracted to your true inner beauty, appreciating your loveliness and enjoying how it helps them to feel good about themselves too. Sorry, I can't see. At least I made it to the end this time. Number 30. Number 30. Priority of purpose. That was Lioness. Oh, I read Priority of Purpose. Now I've got to read Lioness number 26. I read them out of order. That was not by accident. Your ability to love yourself and be empowered is maturing. You are learning that the real beauty and value of you comes from within. You are learning to rise above emotional game playing with honesty. Your emotion... You, <clears throat> you can enjoy your attractiveness as a person what? I thought I just... Alright, let's go to 30. I did just read that. I'm confused. 
What else is new? What else is freaking new? Priority of purpose. You are a dreamer, but you are also meant to be a doer. It's the right time. Family can't see. It's the right time to cast off some of the demands of your time and attention that are keeping you from putting your true per that are per that are keeping you from pursuing your true purpose. If you have a lot of dreams, that's fine, but it might be wise to focus on the ones you can deal with right now. The ones that put the rest in the background for a while. Well, when it's time to attend to them, you'll know. For now, do what you can do. And don't be afraid to make a sacrifice or two along the way. These sacrifices will be paid back in ways that you cannot know. You won't lose anything by just dropping the distractions and going for it. Sorry, I was having so much trouble reading all of that. It was important, that's why. You need to stop letting other people play games with you emotionally about your looks or in any other way. No more games. And you need to find one thing that you can do right now and focus on that. And stop being so scattered and trying to do ten things at once. Who are you talking to? H-Y-H-D-A-K-M-Y-H-D-A-K-M-Y. Nine. A. No. V. P. R. I. F. Seven. E. F. Excuse me. E T M K S K L two. Did you see how that came out with force and I couldn't stop it? That's the blockage in your solar plexus. The part of you that desires to be able to take care of yourself. Y J L I A N F eleven Oh P G I R C number one and That's a T, and there was one more that hit the floor, and I cleaned up last night like you would not believe. This whole table has been clean, floor and everything. Where is it going? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, there it is. Oh, it just appeared out of nowhere. It's an F. It's an F. It wasn't there while ago. We're gonna go funny, ain't we? D O Q A N O T. What is that? Four. All right. P K L A F W F T. 
Somebody in this collective has an initial of S. And I wonder who it is. Let me know if it's you. T-K-P T-N-I I'm sorry, V-7. I'm going to go one more time. J L M F C T D six 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 okay all right now trinkets please Holy Spirit let's start out with this little ball. So it's a very beautiful reading. I have Cherry, the military pendant. God bless you for your service. It says, live your dream. A feather. A metalhead gear. A horse, you might be from Kentucky. What is that? A fancy heart with a flower on top. A broken ring with a piece of turquoise, sterling silver. A one eye chain. A knife of power. A ball. A prick or a cactus. An anchor, an infinity sign, and an elephant leg, a, a damn bear leg. Why do I always call it a freaking elephant? All right, we're instructed to get one eye okay. One, please. There we go. Repeating chasms. Sometimes you fall into the, the swirling, unknowable dark, and the only way forward is to accept the truth of the present moment and trust your inner, your inner knowing. Stay in communication with your heart and, and creative source. Then movement forward will be shown with courage and commitment as well as the rest of your conviction. Where are you? What what are you sure of? And wait a minute. What are you sure of in your heart when nothing else is certain? And how can you flow? How can you flow How can you flow on and through the dark? How can you flow this is about the moon energy that you're in. You're going through something. And then this one says the very hard to read. 
Definition, dividing lines, establishing patterns of light and thought. All these can be dispersed and revealed as an illusion. Center your inner authority and let your decisions flow from the essential underlying source. Hiding everything hmm. Hiding everything Hiding everything, regardless. The disillusion of old forms, re reckless energy, and new purpose and direction. What and how can you be less rigid? And energy and vitality is liberated from old boundaries. Where will it go? Uh, that one was dispersing. I'm so sorry my eyes are so pitiful. I'm going to have to get my eyes checked. I don't know if it's from my daughter or if it's just my own eyes are going bad on me. I hope not because I have to work. But they seem to work fine when I'm not at this table. So I assume it's from her. Angels, how are you helping? How are you helping here? You're bringing joy. An awakening, and look, I found a feather. Harmony, you're helping people to get along. Two people at least. You're bringing thought, vibration, fire, passion. You're bringing passion. Where there's been purity. Woo! Hot. Diggity dog. I have love and I have healing. And on the bottom of the deck, I have creative power. Now, I'm going to pull some cards on your money real quick. I'm sorry it's getting so long, but it's because I can't freaking read. I'm going to have to stop using the cards that I have to read until my vision's better. I have angelic help that tried to fall out. And crafter. So there's a crafter that has angelic help. Proud of you. Whoops. Angelic help with odd jobs and at home. Angelic help with odd jobs in the home. Alright. The right path and a crafter. Ooh, the right path was determined to fall out and I'm going to let it. Alright, so in this collective right now, Spirit's saying, oh, two cards. Wow, three cards. You're on the right path. And this is going to be a surprise. There's surprise. The surprise is setbacks. Or you're on the right path. You're going to have a surprise and you've had setbacks. Clarify right path. Damn. The right path is that you've had a loss. There's been a shift. There's been conflict. You've been alone. And you've made some mistakes. That's that's the right path. Alright, what's the surprise?
the surprise is that somebody's unreliable when it comes to business and media. And what's the setbacks? <laughs> that somebody's a phoenix rising and they're a peacemaker so you haven't been working on your spiritual awakening what's going to be the outcome of all of this for whoever you're going to be a counselor all right what about it Somebody feels like you're settling by crafting as your life purpose when you should be a counselor. Or maybe you um, need a counselor. Alright, anything else for our money? I'm getting a lot of freaking cards for our money. There's a lot going on with our money. We're supposed to be having blessings in our money. Some of these money came to a halt. They need transportation. They need growth. And they need leadership. So, Spirit, what would you suggest they do when it comes to needing trans? Why is their money at a halt? Because they need angelic help when it comes to justice and something they can't see. Verify the angelic help they need. It has to do with managing their money. Alright. All right. How's that going to turn out for them? Their soul tribe is going to help them. They're self-made. They're a mechanic or they're working on it. And they're activating new gifts, all right? Anything else for, for this collective? Anything that nobody else... Some of, there's somebody who hasn't gotten... We haven't gotten to you yet. What is your outcome? Your voice. There we go. Now we're there. You're going to be comfortable. You have a strategy. And it has to do with the underworld. What's going to be the outcome of the strategy? You're going to take off. That one belongs down here. The mistakes. Where are they going when they take off? They're growing up. They're going to have a windfall. They're going to be unlocking. And they're going to have options. With gay uh, nature. Getting grounded. Yeah, there was somebody having a windfall. That's what I thought. And they're going to share with me. Thank you. Just kidding. I love you guys. I hope you have a blessed day prosperous and beautiful day. Bye-bye.